my original idea about doing this video, the video is going to be something entirely different than it is today. Uh, this is about me putting in backup batteries with a charger inverter system on my solar. I've got 20 kW of solar and I wanted to be able to back it up. And originally I would have just talked about the products I used and, and how they work and what I thought was the best way to do this. But now this has turned into something else. Uh, if you look here in this spider mess, there used to be something on top of here. And I'll show you what that was. Anyway, the EG4 18PK that was up there is no longer working. Now, I originally uh, ordered this stuff, I think, uh, 2023, early September. I think I got the EG4 uh, inverter uh, charger uh, about the end of that month. And I mounted it up here. And it was, I hooked it into my system and it was working. I have some DC. Uh, panels and I have some that are also run off of uh, uh, microinverters so they're, they come in the uh, house AC. Well, if we look over a little farther here, you can't see them all that well, but there's two batteries here. These are also EG4 batteries. These things took forever to get. They, I primarily, primarily, <laughs> My primary problem with this system was Signature Solar. They're the distributor, I guess, just for about all of the EG4 products. And there were some original problems. Uh, I, I finally did get the batteries in, I got them mounted, and I had the, the inverter operating. Uh, I mean, this took from that September time, it took until early December before I got the stuff. That's not my primary problem here. And neither is the EG4 18PK the problem. I think it was pretty well made. There was a problem with it, but uh, hookup was easy. Uh, programming for the most part was easy. Uh, the dongle was ridiculous, never did work, uh, but I guess that's another story. What happened is I had this thing up here, and it was working, and I made a change in the program. Now, I'll probably do a video about that change uh, in the future, uh, especially if I have a lot of people who are interested to find out about it. But when I made that change in the programming, it broke part of the inverter. Okay. Uh, I see it. When I made the change, uh, my AC coupled system, which is run through the generator terminals on the uh, inverter, dropped out and it would never come back on again. I called up Signature Solar. I didn't get much from Signature Solar is really, they don't move very fast. They uh, didn't really have a lot of answers. So I was able to talk to the EG for the manufacturer of the product and some of their troubleshooting people. And I told them what I did and they says, well, that's a warranty problem. And we'll accept it back and replace or repair or whatever we're going to do. Okay. So I went ahead and did that. You know, I, I got together, 
Uh, I had to send it to Signature Solar, which is not the factory. Signature Solar is another company, another place we have to go through. And I sent it back to them. And let's see, I think I sent it back to them end of December. Uh, they were supposed to send me the the information to put on the uh, the packages to send back, and they didn't send it. And I had to go back to them again, and you know, just back and forth forever, putting everything off. And so I shipped it back to them at the end of December, maybe the first of January. Well, now we're two weeks into February, twenty twenty four. It's been like a month. And I go through the retailer and say, what's going on? Uh, they try to contact Signature Solar. Signature Solar says, no, uh, we haven't got to this yet. So they just keep screwing around. And in fact, at one point, when I was going to send it back to them, they said, well, you can send it back to us, and we'll determine what's wrong with it. And we'll, then we'll decide whether we're going to warranty this thing or not. Well, it had already been warrantied by EG4. They said the problem, I explained the problem, exactly what happened. And they said they'd warranty. Well, then, here comes Signature Solar, just says, to heck with you. Uh, we'll determine what we want to do. Well, <laughs> this is not going to work. Uh, I went to my retailer and they said, well, let's just dump this thing. And I bought a Solark 15. And that, that's not here yet either. That just happened. But uh, my experience, not with my retailer, my retailer was good. My my experience with Signature Solar was like, you must have screwed this up, so we're gonna we're gonna decide whether we're going to deal with this. Now this is this was a five thousand dollar product. I would not have accepted it not being under warranty. I'd have to do something like look up a bunch of crap backwards or something. For to have a problem like that, so I don't think I was at fault at this, and EG4 said I wasn't at fault, so I'm blaming Signature Solar, and I will not deal with them again. Uh, the EG4 product is a good product, as far as I can tell. Uh, the batteries hooked up, you know, right away, no problem. Uh, but I think in the future. It's going to be solar. And so that's my little story. If you have comments or questions, put them in here. I'd like to I could start a conversation on it if anybody's interested. And I will, uh, uh, I'll be going over when I put the solar in, and we'll, we'll talk about how that works out. So that's it on this one.